Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Mania Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Superstar Arcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage. And special episodes from Rodin Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lee McLeese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring, and mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV Channel 77. And now here's the host of the show, live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Hello once again. This is Eric Lima, the five-time Bumbling Bozos Bozy Award nominee. And you are watching WEML TV Channel 77. And this is episode number... 892. What is going on, everybody? January the 16th, 2022, 5.03 p.m. What's happening, everybody? We're halfway through January. A brand new week is upon us. He's like conflicting weather for this coming weekend. We're supposed to have some snow on de on Saturday, three to five inches, but according to National Weather Service, it's supposed to be sunny. So, so a lot of conflicting reports there. You know, Weather Channel can't sometimes, weather.com, you can't trust them. So, me, Meteorologists always get things wrong, man. But, however, 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 we are on a roll, folks. Um, I'll check this out for just a second here. Um, as you know, um, the Patriots played the Bills last night in the Super Wild Card game. Whoever wins advances in the Divisional Series. In the playoffs, the other goes home. Well, the Bills were ready, and they were... Ready? Uh, ah. Beating the New England Patriots 47-17. Almost pick up, picked up, almost pulled a 50-burger. Now, now it looks like the Patriots have a lot of work to be done in the offseason. It got to the point where Matthew Slater's is contemplating retirement. And I think ever since losing Julian Elman to retirement, and we lost Sweet Feet White, uh, for the season due to an injury. The Patriots, well, they ain't the same team, but Mac Jones had a pretty decent season. I mean, 10 wins in his first rookie year, in his first year, and, ma and the Patriots making the playoffs. But I got to tip my hat to the Buffalo Bills. They have been waiting a long time for this. They've been developing. I think they started developing around 2009. They started to pick things up a little bit in 2009. And then in, two, in 2009, 2019, excuse me, and in 2020 when Tom Brady... Um, left the New England Patriots to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers during the um, beginning stages of the pandemic. And the and Patriots ended up picking Cam Newton. The Buffalo Bills took that advantage. And Cam Newton, as good as he was, wasn't able to put the Patriots into the playoff picture that year, 2020. Once the Patriots let him go, Mac Jones stepped up to the plate, and we ended up with a. I mean, the pay, the, I keep saying we. The Patriots ended up with a 10, 10 and seven record with a wild card berth, and ended up going to the playoffs. And that's where the Buffalo Bills, we they were. I mean, the Buffalo Bills were well prepared, stepped up in there, and beat the New England Patriots forty seven to seventeen. I will acknowledge the Bills tomorrow night on an episode of Both Us and the Sofas, where I'll make my first appearance on the show to talk to the guys about that. And um, now, Alex Putnam, I hope you're watching this, but you got to stay out of this for just a moment. I know you're a Dolphins fan, but I respect you because you show more class than some certain Dolphins fans out there. All right? Because you don't, you don't talk much when I, when, I saw, when, I, when, I, when I see you on both of us on the sofas. So, yes. Yes, the, the Miami Dolphins did beat the Patriots twice in the regular season. But those wins against the Patriots mean nothing if your team does not advance to the playoffs and actually succeed in the playoffs. You know? Yeah, we split the series against... Uh, the Patriots split the series against the Bills. 
the Patriots beat the Bills in their turf. Again, that you know, it is a significant win, but it meant nothing because the Patriots did lose to the Bills in the playoffs. And and the Bills are moving on in the playoffs. The Patriots are going home and we'll move on to next season. Just because you're Dolphins, to, to all message to all Dolphins fans, including Mr. Alphonse Sika of New Bedford, Massachusetts. Guys, listen. Dude, listen up. All you Dolphins fans, please listen up. Just because your Dolphins did beat my Patriots, that does not mean an automatic playoff berth for the Dolphins. Those wins against the Patriots should mean nothing. Nothing and nothing, nothing. Until you make the playoffs, win Super Bowls, then we'll talk. Yeah, 4-2 the last few seasons. Whoop, last three seasons, whoopity doo da. Yeah, Dolphins are four and two against the Patriots. Whoopity doo da! But those losses should mean nothing unless they make the playoffs and actually win a Super Bowl. You know, and if the Bills keep advancing in the in the playoffs and end up winning a Super Bowl, then that win against the Patriots would mean a lot. But until the the Bills do actually actually advance further into the playoffs, that win's going to mean nothing. That, that win's going to mean nothing. Like, if next season rolls around, the Patriots beat the Dolphins twice and beat the Bills twice, but not make the playoffs, those wins will mean nothing to us. Be useless. That's what I'm trying to get at. The only thing that will help you is get confidence. That's it. Okay? My Patriots lost. Simple as that. They go home, Bills move on. It is simple science, ladies and gentlemen. Simple science. Just because you beat a team that is great, that doesn't give you a playoff berth automatically. All right? It ain't the WWE where you beat a champion, you're in the number one contender to that championship. It doesn't work that way in the NFL, dudes. You got to realize that, Dolphins fans. You got to realize it. Yes, I'm happy that you beat the Patriots. whoopity do that. Okay? You beat the Patriots. Good for you. Want a cookie. Seriously, folks. All you Dolphins fans are out of whack. Except for Alex Putnam. Why? I, I'm excluding him. Because he doesn't talk as much. As all these Dolphins are, oh, we beat the Patriots. Yes, we beat the Patriots. That's a win for us. No, and I... It means should, that win should be nothing to you. You should say, yes, we beat the Patriots, but we did not, but we failed our ultimate objective, and that is moving on to the playoffs. That's the thing. Dolphins fans should be going, yes, our Dolphins beat the Patriots, but they failed the main objective that is moving to the playoffs and winning the Super Bowl. So those wins should be mean nothing to us. That's the way it should be. 10 7 record, not bad. Good, good for Matt Jones. Give Matt Jones a little bit more seasoning. We'll do bet, and the pay, and Patriots will do better. It takes progress, and hopefully Matt Jones will be a great, could be as great as Tom Brady or even better. We don't know. Us Patriots fans do not know. All right, that's one. <clears throat> that's one thing I want to address. So tomorrow night on both of the sofas, I will be addressing and acknowledging the Buffalo Bills. So congratulations to the Buffalo Bills. That's all I got to say about that. All right. Now, got some news. All right. This is this is the first ever uh, Dusty Rhodes Classic Tag Team Classic Event Center. That's right where I I'm going to announce the eight teams that will take part in this in, in this year's um, Dusty Cl um, Dusty um, Rhodes um, Tag Team Classic Cup, which the winning team will face Imperium down the road. For an NXT tag team title shot, defending ch uh, defending win um, win uh, champions of of the Dusty Cup last year, MSK will be part of the tournament. Brooks Jensen and Josh Briggs will be part of that tournament, along with Jacket Time. That's Ikiminjiro and Kushida, um, the the fast rising t uh, upstart team that beat um, Joe Gacy and Harlan by disqualification. They're in the tournament. Malik Blade and, a and Adris Enofe. The Grizzle Young Veterans are in the tournament. And Chase U will make their uh, tournament debut 
as Andre Chase and Bodie Hayward. Legato, Del Fantasma as Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde are in it. And representing the Dynamine, the Creed Brothers, Julius and Brutus. Now, I want to show you the bracket of this tournament. And we're going to do that right about now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here we go. In the first round of the tournament, MSK. All right, so the left. Let's check out the left side of the bracket. It's going to be a good one. MSK Jacket Time will um will be facing each other in the first round, along with and Malik Blade and, and Idris Enofe, uh, Legado Del Fantasma is uh, walking while Raul Mendoza are facing each other in the first round. On the other side, it it's going. This is going to be a fight. This is going to be a fight right here. Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen versus the Creed Brothers of Diamond Mine. And this is an interesting uh, matchup as well. The Grizzled Young Veterans versus Andre Chase and Bodie Hayward of Chase U. So, who do I got going? Ah, this is going to be a tough one. MSK and Jacket Time may be stealing the show. But I'm going to go with MSK with, with more of the experience in tag team wrestling. They'll advance. I know Legato will, 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 will advance over Malik Blade and, Indri, and Idris Enofe. Uh, Enofe. Oh, this is a tough one. This is another tough one, too. Uh, a couple of matches are going to be very tough for me to decide. Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen versus the Creed Brothers. I'm going to say the Creed Brothers will advance here. Um, Grizzly Young veteran, oh, Veterans with Andre Chase and Bodie Hayward. I say the Grizzly Young Veterans advance. So it'll be Grizzly Young Veterans versus the Creed Brothers. MSK versus LD, LDF. Legado Del Fantasma. I see... I'm going to see an upset here. I see Legado Del Fantasma in advance. Because those, there will be some sh uh, shenanigans involving... Uh, Santos Escobar and uh, Electra Lopez, they'll advance over M MSK. And let's see, the Grizzly Young Veterans over the Creed Brothers. And LDF and the Creed, uh, and the, L, um, Legal Del Fantasma and the Grizzly Young Veterans will advance in the Dusty Cup. I see the Grizzly Young Veterans winning the whole thing. So they're my pick this year to win. And uh, this will be a very interesting situation nonetheless. So... So that's your uh, Dusty Cup Classic tournament that you just saw, and I'm hoping that um, we'll be, we'll do more on NXT, um, the 2.0 Event Center for this coming Tuesday. So that is all the time we have on this show. Hope you guys enjoy enjoyed the video. Like I said, to all you Dolphins fans out there, and I know I would have um, exclude Alex Putnam because he's more of a classier Dolphins fan than some people out there who are Dolphins fans. Um, at least, you know, but remember, Dolphins fans, yes, you beat the Patriots twice. And you have, you, their Dolphins beat the Patriots twice in the regular season, but it means nothing if you don't make the, if your team does not make the playoffs and advances and try to win the Super Bowl. Simple as that. Yep, we, Patriots made the playoffs. We got bounced in the wild card. And Patriots and Pats got bounced in the wild card. I will address that tomorrow night on both of the sofas. Hope you tune in there. All right, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. A wonderful night, actually. Now, excuse me, I gotta go eat something. Peace, love, God's blessings from heaven above through me to you. And I will see you in the next episode of WEML TV Channel 77. Bye for now.